today on MTG Unpacked, we're continuing our look at the 2020 MTG Challenger deck. So this time it is Flash of Ferocity. So this is a green blue, also known as Simic deck. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is the deck list on the side. Get that in focus. And then what do we have here? Contents, battle ready, 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard. Five double-sided tokens and a deck box. Untap, draw and pass the turn and you'll be ready to either thwart your opponent's efforts with cat spells or flash in an ever-growing army of your own at instant speed. So this is basically a control deck. Uh, you're mostly going to be playing on your opponent's turn, countering their spells, flashing in your creatures. So if that's the sort of deck that appeals to you, this is probably the one to get. Uh, these challenger decks go for about, and we've got a nice box here, these go for about 25 to 30 bucks US each. Um, it will vary depending on where you are. Uh, the standard competitive decks. And what comes next? You probably want to take this to Friday Night Magic at your local game store when they reopen. So meanwhile, you might have to settle with uh, MTG Arena. Okay, so we've got the main deck and the sideboard. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And if you have not seen the complete playlist for previous years, I'll chuck a link up in the corner to that. You can see what's involved there. Um, we have so far just looked at the mono red deck, uh, but I'll be doing the remaining two in the next day or so, so stay tuned. Alright, so let's take a quick squiz at the mana base. Boost the lighting here, sometimes be a little bit dim. Okay, Thornwood Falls, Anticipator Full Tap. When I Anticipator Full, you gain my life, tap it for green or blue. So this is a dual land and forest. Eight of those and eight islands. So about what you'd expect, pretty even there. Uh, so these decks are usually a step up for newer players. So if you've been playing with one of the Planeswalker decks, these are usually much more competitive. Uh, so definitely worth stepping up. And also if you want to get back into the standard format, they're pretty good. Okay, starting off here, we have a Mythic Brazen Borrower. This is a fantastic card. Creature Fairy Rogue, 3-1 for 3. So you can see it's divided into two parts. We have the instant adventure part, which you can cast first, and then the creature. So if you cast the creature first, you don't get to do the adventure. So let's check it out. Petty Theft, one and a blue instant adventure, return target, non-land permanent, and opponent controls to its owner's hand. And the creature has flash and flying, so it can block only creatures with flying. This is fantastic. Flash in on your opponent's turn. Causing a lot of trouble, so we get one of those. Okay, so that's probably the priciest card in the deck here. We'll see what else there is. Next up, Night Pack Ambusher, Creature Wolf 4-4 four, for four, 4 with Flash, of course. Other Wolves and Werewolves you control get plus 1, plus 1 at the beginning of your end step. If you didn't cast a spell this turn, create a 2-2 two, two Green Wolf Creature Token. Alright. So, get a bit of extra value with that guy, cranking out the wolves. Wave Break Hippocamp. Enchantment Creature, Horsefish. Apparently that is a dirty big seahorse. 2-2 two, two for 3. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Okay, really? Only one of those? Alright. Wildborn Preserver, Creature Elf Archer, 2-2 two, two for 2 with Flash, yes, and Reach. Uh, whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X. When you do, put X plus one plus one canters on Wildborn Preserver. So, are we going to get a complete playset? We are indeed. Thassa's Intervention, so another rare here. Instant for X and two blue. Choose one, look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. Okay, so you either get some card draw or counter spells, good deal. So two of those, we got another land here, Castle Vantress. So Ants Battlefield tapped unless you control an island, tap it for a single blue, for two and two blue, tap, you get to scry two, so just two of those. Oh, this is a nice one. 
Fabled Passage. This is worth a few bucks at the time of filming. It's a land tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Then if you control four or more lands, untap that land. Okay, just one of those. That's a little bit stingy, but let's see what else we get. Temple of Mystery. So another dual land here, Ants Battlefield tapped. When Ants Battlefield scry one, tap it for green or blue. So you want to get some mana fixing in there. Brineborn Cutthroat. A 2-1 for 2 Merfolk Pirate with Flash, of course. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, put a plus one plus one canter on Brineborn Cutthroat. So you'll be wanting to do that as much as possible. So four of those guys. Frilled Mystic Creature Elf Lizard Wizard. This always cracks me up. 3-2 for 4 with Flash enters the battlefield. You may counter target spell. So you may be one of those people who uh, get infuriated when your spells are countered. Um, so if you're playing mono red aggro, this would probably be a more annoying deck to play against. Spectral Sailor, Creature Spirit Pirate 1 1 for a single blue. Of course, he has Flash and Flying 3 and a blue. Draw a card. Okay, so three of these dudes. Four of them. Okay, good. Uh, opt, Instant for a single blue. Scry 1, draw a card. So you'll want to use that to get the cards you're looking for. That's one of the common control strategies. So four of those, quench, instant for two, counter target spell unless its controller pays two. All right, so four of those, sinister sabotage, instant for three, counter target spell. You're getting the idea yet? Surveil one, so this was a mechanic in the uh, guilds and Ravnica Allegiance block. So look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. So it's sort of a bit like, uh, scrying, but you um, you can also chuck it in your graveyard. So two of those. Unsummon. Instant for a single blue. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Nice bounce spell. And tokens. We get a wolf. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so double-sided on an adventure. Yep. Another wolf and another wolf. Okay, so you'll want to be cranking out those wolves. So there we go, let's take a look at the sideboard. And this is one, um, unfortunately they don't include codes here, but you could read Creator in MTG Arena. Uh, they have been having FNM events in Arena where you can just create these decks, so that might be a fun opportunity. Okay, so sideboard, we have Shifting Ceratops, another rare creature dinosaur. 5-4 four, for 4. This spell can't be countered. Has protection from blue, so it can't be blocked. Targeted, dealt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything blue. Pay a green, and it gains you a choice of reach, trample, or haste until end of turn. So he is pretty versatile. So we got three of those. Aether Gust. Here's another good one. Instant for 2. Choose target spell or permanent. That's red or green. It's owner puts... It on the top or bottom of their library. Okay, so bouncing those spells back. So three of those. Disdainful Stroke, instant for two. Counter target spell with convert mana cost four or greater. So this is moving into a full on control strategy. Two of those. Mystical Dispute. This is another nice one. Instant for three. Spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell. So this would be, you would use this against a similar deck, another control deck. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. Okay, two of those. Negate, instant for two, counter target, non-creature spell. <clears throat> two of those. Threnody Singer, creature siren, one three for two with flash and flying. Enters battlefield, target opponent, or target creature and opponent controls gets minus X, minus zero until end of turn. Where X is your devotion to blue. So that's something in Theros Beyond Death. Each blue in the mana cost of permanence you control counts towards your devotion to blue. Three of those. Okay, so that's the sideboard. So let's see what else we can see here. So this deck will rotate out of standard later this year. So let's see what rotates out. So M20 is gone. Uh, Guilds is gone. Allegiance is gone. 
we get to keep Eldraine. So M20 Spectral Sailor's gone. Let's see. Okay, there's quite a bit rotating out. Temple of Mystery's gone. They may reprint some of these uh, later in the year, um, but definitely the Eldraine ones will still be good. The uh, Theros Beyond Death is still okay. We've got this. This wolf guy is gone. And the Borrower. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can see, um, let's look at the sideboard. So these will stay. Get rid of those. Right, so again, yeah. So as you can see, probably like two thirds of the deck will rotate out later in 2020. So you've got about maybe six months or so to play this. Uh, as for what we would do here to upgrade, you probably want to add a few more of this fine specimen. So maybe two more of these brazen borrower would be good. Another thing, um, if I can find the lands, the lands are a bit wimpy. So you've got the basic lands, but you've also got these dual lands here where you have to enter the battlefield tapped. You'd want to replace these with breeding pool. Unfortunately, that card is pretty pricey. So you'd be looking at maybe like another $50 or so to upgrade. I'm not sure of the current price of that. So yeah, you're starting off something 25 to 30 US. Uh, definitely options to upgrade it, get about six months of play out of it. And of course, Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. I'm sure there'll be a lot of nice juicy add-ons to add to this and all the other challenger decks. So let me know what you think about this one. Is this something you would pick up? Or are you thinking of one of the other challenger decks? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Stay tuned. We've got two more of these to go. So if your favorite deck has not appeared just yet, keep your eyes peeled. I hope everyone's healthy and safe out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.